What do you think? I'll oh, just, Jeff uh, G. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yes, now I get it. Jeff G. Uh, he says, um, God damn rich cunt. <laughs> That is his actual comment. <laughs> he hinted. Yeah. Uh, James Gum, he's on here saying, "Mind your business." Uh, Razor thing, putty says. I, that's my. I line love that. that. Yeah. I, I, it's putty. Putty. Sorry. I fucked up. All right. I just think it's terrible when Taylor broke the news on the show that he had AIDS. <laughs> and all the boys could offer him were a good luck bro, a cup of broth, and a robe. Do we tell Billy Connolly the good luck bro story? That's another one. Maybe oh, that's, for next time. That's Opie's, another Opie faux pas. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of them. Trying to oh, I love Opie faux pas. That's <laughs> great. It's trying, Opie faux pas. Opie faux pas. It's Opie trying to conjure up sympathy for somebody well, and convey it and failing miserably. You know, Good luck, bro. You know, yeah. Peter Jennings had the lung cancer and he yeah. ended up dying. Well, uh, I was in Central Park sitting on a bench and he's he comes walking toward me with his family and he's not looking good. He's not looking good. And I'm like, man, this guy, you know, I've always respected him. When we were in our our, our, our problems with uh, what we did, he was the only uh, honest broadcaster out there that uh, kind of told the whole story. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, i got to say something to Peter Jennings. i got to say You're something. You're probably looking for something a little profound, something, something. that'll... Something that'll stick with him and give him a little <laughs> bit of spirit to go on. Molten bronze droplets of wisdom. And Billy, exactly. Look how wonderfully you put it. Very good. And Billy, it wasn't Something like, like that. It wasn't like I turned around and he was right there, so I had no time. I mean, I'm watching the guy. I'm like, I gotta He's say something. He's jotting notes, crumbling them, throwing them in a waste paper basket. He brought to Central Park with him. He's no, actually, that won't work. Oh, actually, muse, muse, where are you? <laughs> and I, I got. I wear a cancer bracelet to this day for my my buddy bro uh, brother Weez that was going through his uh, his cancer thing right. So I I unroll my sleeve so the cancer bracelet is is being shown, and he finally uh, is upon me and I kind of point at my cancer bracelet and I look at him and I go, "Good luck, bro." <laughs> Good <laughs> luck, bro. Good like luck, that. bro. Good luck, bro. Bro is a bit dodgy, <laughs> but I kind of like the good luck. Thing. That's when you're what going. A, what a zero! You're I playing am. a softball game. <laughs> yeah. And you say that to your buddy. Hey, I gotta go, but you know, good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Hope you win. Yeah. Good you say it luck, sarcastic bro. with your friend when you see that his fat blind date has showed up. Hey, good yeah. luck, bro. Good yeah. luck, exactly. bro. That's all I could come up with <laughs> from this wonderful mind of mine. Meanwhile, he's trying to conjure up a camaraderie. <laughs> yeah. He's got a bracelet, and he's uh, talking to old Swiss cheese lungs. Uh, <laughs> oh, if he's just told you his tumor's the size of a rugby ball. You're right. <laughs> good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. <laughs> it was Old Swiss cheese love. Like, Swiss cheese and, 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 and yeah, try to conjure up that camaraderie then, with him. And then he walked uh, by, and I just beat myself up yeah. for the rest of the afternoon. Why did yeah. you, you should have been more compassionate and said, nice tumor, dick. <laughs> 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 it was just so bad. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. I right, finished the... Oh, oh, where are we? Over here? Okay. Yeah, we got um, uh, Anthony Cumia. I don't remember posting this. I love Taylor Hicks. I'm even planning on inviting him uh, to come out with my friend Ramon and Steve from Yellowstone. He was wonderful on ONA. The PR cunt <laughs> sounded like she had AIDS. I feel sorry for her. Sorry with one R. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid oh, assholes that listen to this show. He was sorry for her. <laughs> what an idiot. Sorry Calhoun. He was a fucking B-movie actor in the 60s. Wow. <laughs> Taylor Hicks is going to be making a guest appearance on the new HBO series Lucky Louie. But he's he puts Lucy Louie. <laughs> like he didn't even spell Lucky oh, Louie right. Dumb motherfucker. Lucy Louie. I love Lucy Louie. <laughs> be sure to tune in and watch. Uh, Taylor Hicks will be appearing at F.H. Riley's. This is a wonderful place to eat and sing karaoke. I hear Taylor is going to sing uh, karaoke there. He, well, sp he spells fucking karaoke good. correct twice and doesn't know how to spell sorry. Or lucky. What or a yutz. Lucy Louie. We got to do late night karaoke soon. I think yeah. it might be time for another one of those. Yeah, let's do that. Great Click. Charles is down again. What happened? Great Charles is down is again. Is down yeah. the pests are having fun. We yeah. haven't, they haven't been able to do anything fun in a while. I uh, I keep trying to get through this uh, press release, but I don't see any more pertinent information. Well, the JFK oh, thing is huge. Yeah, that's huge. And, of course, um, WJFK-FM.
106.7 there in Washington, D.C. Free FM uh, debuts the program on Monday, June 26th. Three weeks. From 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So we will be in middays. On WGF. And that I understand. They got a full lineup down there, a completely full lineup. I might do well in the with, afternoons when the, the junkies do well in the morning. Yeah, they got a, yep. established shows all over the place. There you so go. I, I get that one. I'm, I'm not even going to argue that. But the Rochester one doesn't make sense. I think they should replay this show one hour during the junkies, one hour during middays, and one hour during Don and Mike. Let's spread this fun out. No. <laughs> Why are you con so concerned about Rochester? What's going on in Rochester? It really does suck as a city. There's nothing happening there. By the way, they list all of our other stations uh, that we've been saying. And Opie and Anthony also broadcast from 9 to 11 exclusively for XM's more than 6.5 million subscribers live from their current XM studios in New York. I wonder who wrote that part. I love the way you do that with your stitches. I'm really... <laughs> You're so brave. <laughs> well, that's what I do if a woman's given birth recently and I you want to fuck her. You don't care about your pajamas at all, do you? <laughs> I, really, I really shouldn't be doing this. I just had the baby. It'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe it won't. <laughs> now your body's ready. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Oops, a daisy. <laughs> Uh, all right, then the rest of the press releases is whatever. Just it's, wreck. It's been released. It's a bunch of crap. All right. A bunch of nonsense. So are, are you in more stations than you used to be? Not yet. Uh, getting there, well, we're getting there, and within uh, a couple of weeks, we should be. We're up to 11 yeah. plus uh, XM. Plus. America deserves you. We're f I think we're officially think. talking to more people now than The only reason you haven't got the station is they don't deserve you yet. They, they haven't right. earned it. They have to they work at it. Earn it. You to, yeah. You're you right. To, you have to earn, earn this that. shit. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. No, we don't come into your town for free. <laughs> <laughs> what, to, do you think I exist to please you? <laughs> You will plead for us. They will build it, and we will come. <laughs> Billy Connolly, can you come back one more time before you? I you, would love. Are to. you heading out of New York after your? Uh, yeah, I'm going away. I'm going back to Europe. But I'd love to come one before more, I go away. I'd one more that. time, yeah. you have to come back. Yeah, yeah we always we, have fun when we've you come had a on. lot of fun with Billy. Do you Connolly. want to hear the cunt joke again? Yeah. Oh, please. oh please, my God, yes. So the two guys meet in the street, and one says to the other, "You know something? I've been thinking about you, and you're a cunt." You've always been a cunt, and in all likelihood, you always will be a cunt. As a matter of fact, if they were judging for the, be the, the biggest cunt in the world, you'd come in second. And the guy says, why not first? He said, because you're a cunt. <laughs> If you ever wanted a description of that word, it's right there. God damn, is that a funny joke? And I love a joke I've never heard. Especially when cunt is uttered oh, in the punchline. It's the setup and the punchline. It's it works. such a nice wee word in Britain, you know, when they say, oh, shut up, you silly cunt. You know, it's, yeah, it's there's silly. Nothing, it's not, it's, silly it's a silly little word, you know? Yeah, here it's just. Yeah. It's, it's the word of all words. Yeah. The girl but then you it. can say motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, with, with complete disdain. Mm -hmm. and, and Europeans are horrified. Are they? Yeah. What? Good. Why, Shagging your poor old mum. Motherfucker. Good. Tell them we got motherfucker bombs over here. Oh, we'll yeah. drop them over there. <laughs> I want to keep Europe afraid of us. <laughs> They're starting to slip with really their own getting, money and everything. They've been getting saucy ever since the fucking Soviet Union fell apart. Right. I don't like Absolutely. it. Uh, kept them in check like for years. Absolutely. I love the old Soviet Union Absolutely. keeping them in check with their Tito hammer was the sickle. man kept them in step. Keep was from uh, afraid, and we were their savior back then. We, we were the only people that were keeping them from just being stampeded over by the Reds. Yeah. And then when that fell apart, they were like, "Ah, we don't need you That's anymore. Right. We got our own money. We'll call it the euro." Especially France. Yeah, give Hezbollah another radio station. Shit dicks. Yeah. Well, everyone in Europe <laughs> hates <Fucking> France. Awful. <laughs> everyone hates France and the French. I don't that. hate France. I love France. Do you? Yeah. Wait, I've you, never been there. You I got like French. You got gigs coming up there? Don't worry. We don't broadcast <laughs> no, in France. I like it. I lived <laughs> yeah, there for a while. Do you perform there? I, you no, know, I don't, but I lived there once for four months. Hey, what is the story about... Uh, we had Lee Evans in last oh, week. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's a nice wee man. What about... Uh, 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 Eddie is the story that he learns a language and then goes and does his act in that well, language. Well, he's always known French, Eddie. Wow. Yeah, he, he went and did a French oh. show in French. Oh, it's only French? He did it in French, yeah. 
Like some really? dummy told me that he learns every language and goes and does it. Some master of misinformation. I'm thinking he did it in I German. Don't think, oh, Exaggeration. I don't think that's the truth. It may well be. Maybe the man's a genius, but I, 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 I don't think so. I think he, I know he 